This is Detroit Sports World coming at you once again with another video talking about the Detroit Lions, giving you my predictions on how the season's going to go. And so many people are hating on the Detroit Lions, and I do not know why, but you know what? Detroit versus everybody, we're always going to get those haters. But we're going to have a good season this year. I believe we are going to make the playoffs this year. We have the team, and so many people are hating on the Detroit Lions. It's insane. USA Today said that the Detroit Lions are going to go 5-11. and 5-11, and 11, are you serious? Look back at, literally, look back at how the season went last year. We made the playoffs. Granted, it was rough near the end. We weren't going to make the playoffs until the Redskins lost and gave us that lead to make it into the playoffs, to make it to a wild card. But I'm not going to make excuses. We deserved to be in the playoffs, guys. We really do. And, um, you know, our defense was kind of suspect last year. We added a lot to the defense. Look, guys, our defensive line has gotten a little bit better. Our linebacker was literally the last in the league. The last in the league. And we upgraded it. We got Paul, War Paul Warlow. We got we drafted Jared Davis. And, and a lot of people are saying that Jared Davis – it's going to be another Ray Lewis. I mean, he's had a really good training camp. Look, guys, don't doubt the defense this year. A lot of times there were schemes going out, and the other team was literally putting the defense on the field, knowing that we lacked that, but our offense was literally winning games for us. Matthew Stafford had eight game-winning fourth-quarter wins for us because he had to. Matthew Stafford is easily a top 10 quarterback, arguably a top five quarterback. He's going to do good this year. We have the best receiving core, the best receiving core in the league, top five. You know what? There's no question that we're going to do good this year, you know, but a lot of people doubt us and I don't know why. Like we've added, we tremendously added a really good offensive line in TJ Lang, Ricky Wagner, um, granted Taylor Decker, he's hurt. He's probably not going to come back to us until late, late in the season. If not, if he comes back, Glasgow, he's been a reliable source for us. We're going to have a decent season guys. We really are. I, the running game is kind of, you know, suspect cause we really don't know if Abdullah is going to be that guy right now. He's a starting running back. For us. He's the starting running back for us. We know what he can do. We know what he can do. He is the man, but he's been hurt. So right now, he's unreliable, but he is the number one running back. We have good guys like, um, we have really good guys in Washington. Theo Riddick. Zinner. You know, Zinner was really good for us last year. But, we need some consistency, which is why we went and signed Asiata. So, you know, our running back, we've always been like dead last in the run game. But I see us improving in that. That's a really important position that we need to address because it's going to be one of those things where we have to manage the game and the run game has to be there for us, guys. The run game has to be there. But... You know, in Matthew Stafford and, and the Detroit Lions, we've always been a pass first for, man, since Kevin Smith. And that's hard, since Kevin Smith. So Matthew Stafford is going to come there. He's going to be our leader. He's going to give us what he's been giving us the past five years. And Calvin's gone. Golden Tate's going to step up. Kenny Galladay is going to step up. Marvin Jones is going to step up. This receiving core is going to be great. I think Jace Billings is going to make the team. You know, I think Abadaris is going to make the team. I think we're going to have a really good punt returner, kick returner. I think it's going to pan out to be really good. I think that the Lions are going to win the NFC North, and we're going to really we're going to do we're going to do we're going to shock a lot of people. We're going to shock the world, and a lot of people don't think that. You know, I'm sick and tired of all the haters, all the doubters. You know, and we've done a lot of Bob Quinn has done a great job with this team and reshaping this team to to, you know, you know what? 
and I hate to say this, but cut all the bullshit aside. If you don't want to be a Detroit Lion, bounce. You want to care? You you care about all the money, and I know it's all up. It's, it's, it revolves about the money, but you know what? You don't want to be about the team first. You can leave. So you heard it from me, man. My name is Maurice Lewis. I am the most passionate person when it comes to talking about sports and talking about the Detroit Lions, Pistons, Red Wings, Tigers. You know, you're not going to get it from anywhere else. You know, I will provide that. Detroit Lions, we're going to go 10 and 6. That's my prediction. 10 and 6. We're going to beat Green Bay. We're going to beat the Vikings. We're going to beat the Bears. You know, and last year we should have had it. It slipped from us. Our defense was suspect last year. But you know what, guys? New improved. We're going to do a lot better with managing the game, managing the offense, managing the defense. We're going to do so much more better. You know, there's a lot of teams. We didn't beat a playoff team last year. And Matthew Stafford, with his clutchness and his and his skill in bringing us back eight times in the fourth quarter, it's going to be better for us, guys. You heard it from me first. Detroit Sports World, Maurice Lewis. Let me know what you think about what I just said. I know you guys got a lot to say. Hit me up. I'm out.